this is Disoki, the librarian, and I'll tell you what books I have. Okay. I first book I have is Cora White Ravenwing by Gina Wilson. The second one I have is A Journey to the Centre of the Earth by Vern Blackie. The third one I have is One by Sarah Crossan. The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. That's about a boy who lives in the graveyard. One was about some conjoint twins. A journey to, journey to the centre of the earth is about some people going into a volcano. And Cora Ravenwing is about someone that makes friends with a mysterious, unpopular, thin girl with very dark, demon-like eyes. And Charisma by G. Ann Ryan is about, I guess, um, some people get a confidence gene put into them. Then there's Divergent, Insurgent, and Allegiant by Veronica Roth. <laughs> There's Divergent, Insurgent and Allegiant by Veronica Roth. That's about some people that live in five factions. Amity, Abnegation, no, Amity is selfless, Abnegation is selfless, now, Candor is honest, Dauntless is brave and Erudiet is clever. And then there's Airy about an, an alien who lives on Earth and wants to go back in space and that's quite a weird story. Then there's Geek Girl Mo Geek Girl Modern Misfit Geek Girl Picture Perfect and Geek Girl All That Glitters It's about a geek that becomes a model and has ventures. Then there's Liquidator by Andy Monaghan it's about some. It's about a drink that's up, and they test the people, but the drink is dangerous. And there's some people, and there's some people, and they, and they, and they try and make, and they put dangerous stuff in the drink, but the drink is very dangerous. Then there's. Hetty Feather and Emerald Star. No, Hetty Feather and Sapphire Battersea, which is about a girl in the Victorian times who goes to live in the Foundling Hospital and she doesn't like it there. And she sees a circus and she dreams of being in a circus. Then she escapes and becomes a servant. Then she escapes and. Yeah. Then there's Star Girl. It's about a strange girl who becomes normal. Then there's Emerald Star, which Hetty Feather becomes joins the circus. Then there's Diamond, where Hetty's friend is a circus person. Then there's Little Stars, where the two people become performers on stage. Then there's Boy With Two Heads, which is about a boy who grows a second head. And then, and it gets to be tested on. And there's Girls In Love, so it's about some girls and they fall in love. Girls Under Pressure, it's about a girl worrying about her weight. And there's 
Northern Lights, Subtable Knife and Amber Spyglass, which is about um, some people and that's a lot. So it's a good one though. There's OMG, is this actually my life and OMG, I'm in love with a geek. Hard to explain them. They're like diary stories. There's Four Children and It, which is about some people and they go into a park and they meet a Sai Samid and the Sai Samid grants their wishes. Then there's Opal Plumstead. It's about a girl in the Edwardian times who works in a sweet factory. Then there's Lily Alone. It's about a girl whose parents go off on holiday and um, Lily and her siblings are left at home and they have adventures in the park. Then there's the Giants and the Joneses. It's about some normal people and then a giant picks them up and takes them into their room. And the, and the giant is a little girl, or oh, big girl actually, or oh, big little girl. And um, she's called Jambila and she plays with them. Then her brother Zab is a naughty boy and he does tricks on them which are not good. Like putting them in a jar with a wasp in it, but the wasp is super sized. So, um, but then they escape, and there's Frog who wants to stop them. <coughs> then there's a, is it the illustrated mum. It's about a family who lives with a mad woman covered in tattoos. Then there's. Diary of a Wimpy Vampire. There's Nigel, who's a vampire, but he lives. That is a 15, well, 150 year old, and he lives in a. Um, he lives with a family of vampires too, and the family of vampires are all vampire-y, but Nigel wants to become a human. Then there's the Cafe Then there's a Cafe Cassidy ones. Cherry Crush. It's about a girl who joins the big family and she has an affair with another sibling. Then there's Marshmallow Sky. It's about a girl that gets those weird nightmares about of romance. Then there's Summer's Dream. It's about a girl who becomes anorexic. Then there's Coco Caramel. It's about a girl and who saves a horse. Then there's Sweet Honey. It's about a girl who goes to Australia to meet her dad, but it's not as good as it seems. Then there's Fortune Cookie, and he's a boy and he joins the family too. And and he's a long lost brother. Then there's Awful Auntie. It's about um, uh, Lady Stella Saxby, who is the heir to a mansion, to Saxby House. And um, there's an, and the parents have both been murdered by her aunt, um, Alberta and Alberta wants to own the mansion and lay and Lady Stella Saxby she wants to escape but Alberta puts her in the coal cellar and that's when she meets a ghost called Soot. Um, Stella and Soot escape and they play tricks on her and Lady Stella Saxby wins and the house becomes a children's home. And Gangster Granny, it's about a boy who lives a normal life but his granny is a gangster. Then there's Queenie, it's about a girl called Elsie in the 1950s and um, 
and she gets put in hospital even though she's not even that ill and she gets put in hospital made to lie in a bed and have her foot up like that for weeks on end even though there's nothing wrong with her and, and there are loads of other children in the room like that too but, and there's one boy who is even strapped to a metal frame Nice. Then there's Little Darlings. It's about a poor girl and a rich girl. The rich girl is a celebrity's daughter. The celebrity is Danny Kilman. And Danny Kilman is a rock star. And Danny Kilman of a daughter is Destiny Kill Man <laughs> and Sunset Kill Man. Sunset Kill Man is <laughs> um, lives in the mansion. She doesn't like being famous. She wants a normal life. Destiny Kill Man loves singing. She wants to become famous. Then Destiny Kill Man realises so it's related to Sunset and she wins a talent show and then, then there's the Martian. It's about a man who's stuck on Mars. He's quite clever and he found out how to escape. There's my sister Jodie. There's a shy girl called Pearl and a confident teenage girl called Jodie. Pearl and Jodie both go to the same school and it's a boarding school and um, and then they go into the attic and then Pearl and then Jodie doesn't um, and then Jodie then there's a cliffhanger involving Jodie. Will she survive? Then there's um, Dancing the Charleston. It's a girl who inherits money and they get to live in a big house and they get to dance the Charleston and it's set in the 1920s. Then there's uh, Wings. It's about someone who turns into a fairy. Then there's Seed. It's about some, well, some people that live in a cult, but it's a dangerous one. Then there's The Taste of Blue Light. It's some people that go to a rough art school. And the, and the girl, person who's in the main character has go through something traumatic but she can't remember it but she ends up with synesthesia and she tries to recover from it. Demon Dentist's about a boy who goes to a dentist who is evil and they and the and the dentist pulls the bo poor boy's teeth out and she's not a human either. Then there's Mr Stink which is about a girl who meets a tramp and she's rich and the tramp joins the family and becomes famous the parents dislike the tramp then there's that the tramp used to be rich too then there's Ratburger it's about a man called Bert and a woman called Shelia Bert and Shelia um who in the But um, the rat, but um, a girl called Tina makes friends with a rat, and then but the burgers are made of rats, and Bert threatens to put Armitage the rat into the burger, but Tina resists. Now, and the 
time for my action.